Um, okay. Okay. Ask me the question again. Yeah, <laughs> bug tussle. Um, are you going to work with Derek again? Because you guys really are a dynamic duo. I'm not kidding. I mean, I like I said, I, I hope so. I really yeah. hope so. Um, Derek has always got so much going on. Um, and he he just sold his his volcanic theater pub. Uh, and so he's, I don't even know where he's going to live. If he comes back out to L.A., which I hope he does, um, that would be a great chance to work with him again. Yeah. Um, I, I want to work with him again. And the reason Bud Tussle is literally the way we shot it, the way he put it together, it's my fantasy of what it would be like to shoot independent films like at a, at a great level because um, we rehearsed it, we learned it. We, um, he actually came out to LA and we sat in this garage and, and like he, he worked with me for like, you know, about six hours through the whole film. And you don't do that with most movies. Um, we got it on Zoom like this and read the whole script out until we learned it and memorized it. So it was rehearsed to the point where we could kind of like go at it when we shot, you know? Uh, and I think you see that in the film. You don't, you don't see, um, you don't see an actor reaching for a line. You see actors that are entrenched in that world. And, um, you know, he's very easy. He, he gives that anyway in his performance. Um, he's, he's there. And, um, I like to be there. Um, and he created a world where it's easy to be there. So I, I would do anything with Derek again, because like I said, that, that's the most fun I've had working on a film as an actor. So, um, yeah, you guys shot it in like a day or something, right? We right. shot the, the entirety of the interior, which is basically the whole film. Um, in one day yeah and that's wow i think it's 20 i think it's 21 22 pages and just to give you a for instance or an example um hollywood when you shoot a television series it's kind of normal to shoot maybe five pages a day okay. uh and, and that's with a huge crew and then you're on a sound stage they might shoot they might try to shoot like five pages a day we shot over 20 in wow. one day wow. and the the, re the reason we could do that is because he he thought it all out and there's that one location where we're trapped and it's just me and him and then one other actor and everybody just really learned their shit and then you have uh his his camera crew which they're all phenomenal i mean he's got these guys that really know how to shoot with cameras they 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 set it up in their brains. They got in there and they didn't, they didn't make us hit a lot of marks. They mm -hmm. said, you guys do it and we're going to be over here and we're just going to cover it. We're going to shoot it. And so it was almost like we just were in that barn, in that dirt for a day, just doing rehearsals and just going at it. And those guys were just shooting us. It wasn't um, it wasn't like you had to like do a lot of things to satisfy them. They were there to cover us and make sure that we got everything. And so it was awesome. Um, you know, I mean, just it it's yeah. it's what as an actor, when you work on stage, it's what you think it's going to be like to make a really cool film, because it's not always a lot of times when you work on on TV, you know, it's it's very oh. staid and like. Okay, you're going to stand here mm -hmm. and uh, you're, you're going to yep. look this way and you're going to say this line. And then at this moment, we want you to grab your coffee cup. Okay. And yes. And then you wave. You know, I mean, it's just, it, it's like, yeah, we were going yeah. at it. And I feel like, I feel like it's like that in Eddie's world too, mm -hmm. um, for King of Herrings. But, but I know that you didn't, you don't get this, but I didn't, I didn't have much of a, an acting part in King of Herrings to me. It was very small and it yeah. was very easy and I liked it. But when you look at the the breadth of what I did in King of Herrings, all of that, all of those reaction shots of me in the movie, we, we did that in like one take. 
maybe two, maybe he, maybe he did it twice. And I just sat there and I kind of looked at these guys and they got all my stuff that quick, except for the scene where I talk. Um, yeah. And, and with, uh, you know, with Bug Tussle, it's kind of like we're playing hardball. Yeah. yeah, it's it's an action movie as opposed to King of Herrings, which is, you know, it, it kind of, you like you have that, the the music in the background. I love it, the whole atmosphere. I, I, yeah, King of Herrings is is another dreamscape for me, like of what I what mm -hmm. I wanted to do when I became a film actor. I just don't have a big role in it as an actor. I, what yeah. I what I did have a huge role in. I, I was I was a producer, and I was uh, the first AD. I had a a huge behind the the scenes role in King of Herrings. Yeah. In Bud Tussle, I had a big part, and I got and I got to swing for the fences with it, and it was fun. That's uh, that's uh, it leads me to the reason that I feel like I got to Bud Tussle it's another reason is because of uh wild sun um okay. because because wild sun yeah um that that was the one that opened me back up because i had been doing tv and commercials and any role that i could get just to pay the bills um and i was kind of getting dead you know as an actor it just wasn't wasn't thrilling me at all um and then Champ Clark handed me Wild Sun. I read that in front of a bunch of strangers and I was like, oh my God, this is what I want to do. I, I forgot. This was like flashing back all the way to Tooth the Crime uh, and Sam Shepard. And so I did that play. Derek came to Los Angeles and saw it. Um, and that's before, that's before we did... Uh, before we did Bug Tussle. And I think, um, you know, it just opened the door. It just opened the door for me and him to have conversations about stuff again. And uh, the, that's why I, I connect those two parts as an actor and I go, I get to swing for the fences in both of those those parts and in, in, in those pieces, you know? I mean, in, in Wild Sun, I'm on stage for an hour telling a story and it's just me. And in Bug Tussle, it's just me and Derek um, going at it tooth and nail, you know? Um, so yeah. those are those are the type of roles and, and, uh, and acting work that it turns me on, you know? It makes me get excited. That's, yeah, that's that's why I, I completely get that. Because, you know, I, I did watch a few of what I call the, the professional acting roles that you had, you know, in the professional world where, you know, stand here, do this, you know, and it's very formulaic and it's, you know, you're a lawyer, you're a lawyer, you're a client, you're a client, you're, you know, it's like that. But I mean, well, they, yeah, they put you in a box. Yeah. They see you, they say, this is what you are. And then they want yeah. to, they, they, they go, oh, he can do this. Yeah. And they really want you to do what they want you to do. And, you know, you, you try you try to bring something good to it, and every once in a while, you get a, you get an opportunity to do that. Like I got to do a, a bad guy on um, Law and Order, mm. and it was a you know it was a big role, and uh, the the director Michael Pressman, he just let me go. So I was still working in the constraints of a television show, a very popular television show uh, that's been around forever. But they let me kind of be me and the other actors were really yeah. great actors. And I think that's kind of how they shoot that. They shoot it a little bit like they're all pros. And uh, if you get a chance to work with them, they they treat you like a pro too. And so you get to kind of just go. Um, it's still a little bit more um, of a machine than like when you work with your friends and, and you, you don't always have the idea fully fleshed out until you do it. Um, they can have a little bit more of that worked out on their end, but you know the opportunities are few and far between in the television world, and I think even the film world. I haven't worked in movies as much as some of my friends, like Joe Crest and David Jensen, um, and Eddie even, uh, and Wayne, and Carl Palmer. Um, but I think you will see them in movies and the big deal is you get the role and you get the money and you get the time somewhere 
it's very, very seldom that you go, wow, look at the scene I did. Look at the work I did. It's not as much about the work. Uh, Joe Crestus had a couple of scenes and uh, and parts in movies that are exciting. They're Steven Soderbergh films, you yeah. know. Well, he I, did a. I yeah, I think that I think that Joe Crest actually really kind of, you know, on, like on Stranger Things. Um, I know it's a small part, as they say, but it's like. It, it's it's actually a very interesting part, you know. Yeah, I mean, almost for, I, almost like like Augie, you know, he's not sort of doing a lot, but what he's doing is is actually really cool. <laughs> there's two so, things. There's there's yeah. two things I would say about that. One, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah. And like to me, Augie is a fantastic role mm -hmm. uh, because of what it turned out to be. It's just not. It's not my dream role as far as shooting it, but with Joe, he's done a lot of those kinds of roles, like mm -hmm. small roles. They're here, they're here, they're here. Yeah. But what's really cool to me about um, his work on Stranger Things is that is right after we did King of Herrings, that he got that. Mm -hmm. And King of Herrings is kind of the first time I saw Joe really bring Joe to the character, like the professor. Okay. Like he really brought, he brought the sort of oddity that Joe Crest is to the character of the professor in King of Herrings. And I think he kind of brought the oddity of who Joe is to the father character in Stranger Things. So even though, you know, he's just there, here, there, here, there, which by the way, on a TV gig is a fantastic job because you work a day and then two weeks later you work another day and you're getting money and you're getting money and you're getting money. Um, and he gets to do interesting things because they hired him to be that weird guy that he is, you know? So he gets to have fun uh, even in these little bitty scenes.